Hi, and welcome to the, oh, I can't do this. When we're designing our documents, it's not unusual that we want to add color. It might be a colored shape. It might be changing the color of the font or changing the background to something. And the palette that comes with Google can be a little bit of a hassle to work with. Sometimes the color that you want is not uh, necessarily there. Occasionally you'll find the color that you want on a different web page, for example, or on a different document that you've got uh, somewhere on your, on your laptop. There is a color picker tool that you can use. It's an extension for the Chrome browser. It allows you to pick the exact color that you want and then add that to a custom color palette in your, in your document that you're using. Let's take a look. Now, the extension I like to use is this one. There are several available in the Chrome Web Store. So go through them if you like and have a look. And once you've gone ahead and installed that, it'll be look like this icon up here in your toolbar. You may need to also go to your list of extensions and actually pin it to your toolbar. So once it's activated, you simply need to come to the page or the document that where it has the color that you want to use. And you go ahead and you click on it. And for this one, you'll need to use this tool down here. When you hover over it, the name will pop up. You'll want this eyedropper tool. So go ahead and click on that. And then you'll notice that as you move your cursor around, it will sort of show you what color it's looking at, so to speak. So you simply go ahead and click on that space there. And you can see now that it's added two codes for colors. Colors, when you're looking at them on a computer, have a code with them. This one's called a hex code. This one's called an RGB. So you can go ahead Save and exit. So over on your document, what you need to do is, let's say I want to change the color of the font. So I'll change my text color here. And under custom, you've got this plus sign here. So you can go ahead and click on that. And the hex code that you got from using the eyedropper, you can just simply go ahead and go command V to paste it in. All right, so you can see it's changed there. And then you go OK. So you can see now that the text color has changed. And it's the color that you want. If you need to use it again in this document, when you click on there, it'll be added to your custom palette up the top. So in general, that technique will work for any design document that you're working on, Google Docs, Google Slides, Canva, Lucidpress, whatever it is that you're using that's a way that you can get exactly the color you want if you found it somewhere else. As always, if you've got any dramas, come and see me and uh, we'll get you sorted out. Sweet as.